Jimmy Carter to receive hospice care following hospitalizations, Carter Center. Former President Jimmy Carter will receive hospice care following a series of short hospital stays, the Carter Center announced Saturday. Carter, 98, is both the oldest living and longest lived U.S. president. After a series of short hospital stays, former U.S. President Jimmy Carter today decided to spend his remaining time at home with his family and receive hospice care instead of additional medical intervention, the Carter Center said in a statement. He has the full support of his family and his medical team. The Carter family asks for privacy during this time and is grateful for the concern shown by his many admirers. Carter, who held office from 1977 to 1981 as the 39th president, has seen serious health challenges in recent years. In 2019, he suffered from various falls and underwent hip surgery. He has also survived metastatic melanoma. As the son of a Georgia peanut farmer, he grew up not only to be president, but also a Nobel Peace Prize winner and a Grammy Award winner. He was also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Among his administration's most notable achievements were the Camp David Accords, which Carter brokered between Israeli Prime Minister Menachem Begin and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat in 1978. Carter's time in office also saw the start of the Iran hostage crisis, and on the domestic front, the first efforts toward developing a policy for energy independence. Post-presidency, Carter, and his wife, former First Lady Rosalind Carter, founded the human rights organization the Carter Center, which helped spearhead a successful campaign to eradicate guinea worm disease. They have also been prominent supporters of Habitat for Humanity, the nonprofit devoted to affordable housing. They have four children together – three sons and a daughter.